Hi guys, deciding to go live, hope everyone's having a blessed night, I usually go live on Facebook, not IG, but I do like um, the fact that I have um, a good little following on both. I just don't use my IG as much as I used to. Hi, Jonathan and Saldo. How are you guys doing in this lovely evening? I'm quite tired, but I figured I'd pose the same question. Um about what makes you happy tell me what makes you happy <laughs> for most people it's their kids or um, I feel like we seek happiness more than we actually enjoy it like indulging in it I feel like so much is oh I would be happy if or once I have this then I'll be happy or these things that happen make me happy what about simply being in the moment embracing life as it is as you are having a gratitude for this simple breath for your leg <laughs> my toe is still healing by the way but yeah like what makes you truly happy and the reason why I quotated makes in the Facebook post too is because it's like those are outside factors what makes you happy on the inside intrinsically being at peace. Yes. That's my goal. That's me all day. Inner peace is so much more beautiful than, than trying to seek stuff outside of you. Because if you think about it, everything outside of you is, um, it's an influence. It's not so much something that you are creating um, as a factor of joy. It's something that's influencing you. You could say that most people find happiness by going after it. The journey is the destination. Exactly. Okay. The second part me made it make so much more sense. I agree. Because in the pursuit of happiness, you're learning yourself about who you are and what does make you happy. Because for the most part, I feel like a lot of people are influenced or impacted by outside factors and therefore have a reaction of being happy as opposed to the other way around, being a person who is choosing happiness and carrying it with them. <laughs> I try to do the latter. Yep, inner peace is just always necessary. I do agree with you. So then let's bring it deeper. What brings you inner peace? <laughs> is it something that you have to pursue again? Or is this something that you can do within? It's inner peace, right? <laughs> inside. Inside job. So... There's someone at the door. What brings you inner peace? Happiness, I feel like, is an emotion that follows that almost. Like happiness is an outside emotion, whereas inner peace is something totally within. It has nothing to do with this physical world that we live in. It's a mind state. And... um 
how we bring ourselves there is what I'm curious about. Meditations work well for me. That's a good way to seek inner peace, to quiet the mind. And you're not flooded with so much noise. Some people find trying to meditate frustrating. My nose is crooked. (laughs) Um, It's like if you don't understand the purpose of it or you don't really have like a full desire to it, I don't think it works as well. Because I've been in, in... previous states where I found trying to quiet my mind was the most difficult thing in the world because there's just too much going on. But then when I started to simply focus on the emotion that I wanted to feel or at least the, the inner peace factor, bringing the thoughts that would help facilitate that inner peace helped me a lot which in essence if you meditate I guess properly so to speak then it'll bring you there you know your a zero thought state of mind right you're trying to quiet and silence the mind so that you can have a a a clarity in here and not so much um influence or impact from outside of us sometimes happiness means being dispassionate how so Jonathan that's interesting that you say that happiness means being dispassionate do you think that passion brings like drives a pressure just letting things be as they are right because when we're passionate it's like But that's the thing. Passion is fueled by emotion, by a desire to change or desire to be involved in something. Whereas happiness is a state of being, being literally just being, (laughs) not trying or doing anything, just the essence that makes sense. I think that's what's driving people crazy these days is not having a purpose. I've always felt blessed to be who I am because of my mindset. But when you're trying to force something or figure something out, it's like you're putting more pressure in like resistant blocks against you. (laughs) So it kind of defeats the purpose. I think that makes sense. I never thought of it that way, though, as far as the way that you mentioned it, Jonathan, being dispassionate. (laughs) It's intriguing. So, yeah, I'm just waiting on things. Oh, there's my message that I was waiting for. (laughs) All right, guys, I will be back on more time to be... My motivational speaking is, <laughs> how do I say this? It's definitely knocking and it's like, come out, come out. So I'll be live more. I'll be making more videos and talking to you guys, interacting, connecting. I miss it so much. I've been hibernating, healing, trying to um, just gain that inner peace <laughs> I'm finding it. Maybe not having a purpose, but feeling like you have to have or know your purpose can cause frustration. Exactly. I think that's what's, yeah, exactly what's frustrating. Um, Not knowing yourself, really. I feel like we're looking too much, too far outside of ourselves that it's not bringing any peace to yourself because you're not digging deep within your own self (laughs) I know this whole self-talk is like a trend right now but it's literally the path to enjoying life and really gaining that inner peace because you cannot 
gain any inner peace by seeking anything outside of you. It just doesn't make sense. We're very individual and unique. So maybe your purpose is to just be you. <laughs> Lots of love and blessings, guys.